With this new law in effect, there's not a lot of clarity. The rules and regulations may not be set in stone just yet, but recreational marijuana will officially be legal in Michigan starting Thursday. Lieutenant David Kaiser with Michigan State Police says they're as ready as they can be. We're relying on interpretation by different attorneys. He touches on a common misconception about this new law. A lot of people are under the misunderstanding that with this new law, they can just smoke marijuana like they're drinking a, uh, a can of pot anywhere they want. But that's not the case. It allows someone to possess, consume, grow, use marijuana in the privacy of their own home. But he says starting tomorrow, traffic stops may be different. Today, if we stop a car and we have the odor of marijuana, whether it's raw or burnt in a vehicle, a lot of times we would search that vehicle. So tomorrow we stop that same vehicle and we smell marijuana on the inside. It's legal. There's nothing we're going to do with that. And one of the biggest questions, how will police determine if someone is driving under the influence of marijuana? You can have marijuana in your system just like you can have alcohol in your system. However, if it impairs your driving, we're going to do field sobriety tests, and it's the same as it was before this new law went into effect. You could be placed under arrest for operating while impaired. Now, there's a legal limit for blood alcohol levels when it comes to operating a vehicle, but at this point, there are no rules like that for marijuana. Kaiser admits it will be a process, but he says this is what the majority of voters wanted. Michigan voters voted this law, and this is what they want. And we, we will respect that, and we're, we're trying to do it in a, a fair and impartial way. Now, so some key items with this new law, you have to be 21 to use marijuana, which of course is the same as alcohol. You can have up to 2.5 ounces on you and up to 10 ounces at your home. And you can only smoke on private property or specially designated areas. Now, as for people convicted of marijuana-related crimes, well, it's up to the lawmakers to decide whether to clean up their records. Reporting live in the Continuous News Center tonight, Kate Nadalski, WNEM TV5.